Okay, we're going to look really quickly, super quickly, at the structure of a chloroplast here. Uh, it's important to know that the chloroplast is roughly the same size as a mitochondria, and also that the uh, chloroplast, based on embo endosymbiotic theory, we think that chloroplasts used to be pro prokaryotic organisms. They have their own um, DNA in there, and their own ribosomes, okay? And they're roughly the same size as prokaryotic cells or bacteria. Okay, so when we're looking at something like this, if you were to draw this, uh, you might draw it as kind of like a, a little jelly bean sized thing, and then you draw a bunch of little stacks of coins, and these little stacks are called uh, grana. Grana is a plural, and an individual stack is called a granum. A stack of a, uh, these are stacks of thylakoids. The area around here is called the thylakoid membrane, and a lot of stuff goes on in there. In fact, all the uh, light dependent reactions, the production of ATP and NADPH, everything goes on there. The stroma is the space here, the space, this fluid-like space, and that's where the Calvin cycle actually happens. All right, You have a few other kind of insignificant things, lipid droplets, starch grains for uh, when the glucose gets produced in photosynthesis and gets accumulated and uh, condensed to form starch. Uh, the chloroplast envelope is just enclosing its contents, basically. You can separate into the outer membrane and the inner membrane. Not so significant. In the mitochondria, if you're actually comparing it, the inner and outer mitochondrial membranes are really important because the space in between is where all the protons uh, get built up. So how is this why, How is this structure related to the function of all of this stuff here? Well, um, the thylakoid membranes, there's a lot of them, and the large surface area the more of them you have you have greater surface area and so more light can be absorbed so that's where the chlorophyll is actually embedded it's embedded inside the thylak thylakoid membranes so large surface area to help for that inside the thylakoids inside the spaces of the thylakoids so the thylakoid space so i don't know you have to zoom in really really close there um, that's where all the proteins are the protons i'm sorry that's where all the protons are accumulating uh, to build up that concentration gradient so when the protons flow back out flow back out from the thylakoid space uh, you end up with uh, chemiosmosis happening in ATP production and everything and then the last thing you can mention is that the space here the stroma is actually um, filled with enzymes that are going to be used for the Calvin cycle the most famous of which is of course Rubisco and Rubisco is the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction of fixing carbon and so it combines carbon with uh, RUBP and then continues to feed through the rest of the uh, the Calvin cycle. So that's basically it. A quick look at the structure of a chloroplast and the main features to, to recognize and how the structure is related to its function. That's a central theme in biology.